veto a bill that includes it? I don't think so. Well, if Ann Coulter writes he might not. Are you worried? He's worried very much about the extreme conservatives, the Ann Coulters of the world. If he's afraid of losing what he considers his base, should he be less concerned? Well, he should, he should not pay any attention to Ann Coulter. Ann Coulter has never run for office. She doesn't know anything about how you put a majority together. Right. Uh, she's off here in some fantasy land where she gets to be, she gets to be noisy, uh, which helps her sell books. The fact is, the president's base is with the president. And the president's base, if he goes to him and says, I got this done for the wall. I got this done to protect America. I'm doing these good things you believe in. Um, the base is going to say, fine, 80 percent of the country believes that you ought to find legal ways for people who came here as children to become legal in a way that not necessarily a path to citizenship, yeah. but certainly a path to, to a job. Sometimes you got to say to your base, hey, if you're really my base, you got to stick with me. Because, it, because you got to compromise in our system. We, we, did, anyone take, did anyone take 11th grade social studies? <laughs> I always tell my conservative, most conservative friends, if you are a constitutional conservative, you by definition have to believe in compromise. The founding fathers wrote a machine designed to avoid dictatorship mm -hmm. by making it so inefficient that you can barely get it to work. And it's designed to say the Senate has power, the House has power, the Supreme Court has power, the president has power. Now, in that box, we preserve freedom, but we've got to be able to act. And I think <clears throat> we've had enough of this dance. Uh, my personal prediction is we're not going to close the government again. Uh, in a worst case, the president, I think, will sign an emergency decree. And I agree with Senator Roy Blunt, who said it's a bad precedent because who knows what the next liberal will do. But I think if the president is, is stiffed by Nancy Pelosi and she refuses to protect America, he has a commander in chief obligation to protect Americans and could be forced into it. I hope that won't happen. And as if the adults in the Senate and the adults in the House will sit in a room and work it out. There is no reason. I mean, I did this when Clinton and I were fighting all the time. Right. But we managed to get four consecutive balanced budgets because we'd listen to each other, we'd negotiate, we'd sometimes yell at each other, and we had some very tough conversations. Mm -hmm. But we always put America first and tried to figure out how to get to an American solution. Well, let's see if they do something big, as you have suggested. Speaking of big, uh, already the roster of potential Democrats who would like to be 